amazing. First of all, your shadow, loving it. Thank you so much. My friend Ivetra did it. We were like, let's do blue. We, let's just do it. Blue always looks good on black skin. I never knew. I never tried it. I'm so excited. Yes, you look great, by the way. Um, congratulations on being nominated. Now, tell me a little bit about this animated series. Okay, it's called Elena of Avalor, and it's Disney's first Latina princess. And I play Luna. She's a jack one. She's like half jaguar and half flying bird and she and two of her other friends are like the protectors of Elena as she learns how to to rule in her realm and it was important for me an honor for me to be on this show because I remember when Princess and the Frog came out and we had our first black Disney princess the fact that Latinas have waited this long to have their princess that looks like them I was so honored that I got to be there when this moment happened for them so it's a great show it's got music we're going into our third season um, and it's great yeah, it sounds like a really great show. Now, you you touched on a really important thing. I don't know why it's taken this long in order for certain ethnicities to be represented. Well, you oh, listen, we don't have enough time and ain't enough digital whatever on that digital whatever to discuss it. Um, we know what this is. We've been in America a long time. We know what this is. We're seeing it, the cause of it even resurging right now in, in D.C. You know, we've, we've heard what certain people think of us and our people and our countries that we come from. So is, is it really surprising that it takes this long for us to be recognized? It's not really surprising. We, we've lived this life, we know this life, and thankfully we're equipped to do this life, and we will. Now you've been a real big advocate uh, for black people, for telling the proper stories. Um, do you feel that you're, you're doing it enough justice or do you feel like you need to do more? I don't think I'll ever be doing it enough justice until I'm a producer or a writer or a director. Um, and I used to not think about being those things because I was just happy to be working. And I think that's the, that's the trick. That's how they get you. They tell you you should be happy to be working. You should be happy with this little check I gave you. And I realize now that no, it's not enough to be happy to be working. We have to be content creators. We have to be the people that decide what our image looks like on film and on television. Only then will we, what we see be authentic and resonate with us. That's why you have an Atlanta killing it. Why you have Insecure killing it. Why you have Queen Sugar killing it because there's people that look like us, writing it, directing it, the director of photography is lighting everybody, everybody lit good. Like it's, you have to be in the room when the decisions are made, when it affects our people. Because we already know that certain cultures only know what they see of us. They don't have no friends that look like us. So if all they see is us killing each other in the streets or selling drugs or, or treating people bad, they're gonna think that's who we are. And that's how they're going to make decisions about what social programs they create, how they treat our communities, how police officers approach our car. Huh? So we have got to get in a position where we're making the decisions about how we are presented. I think that this is a great show. I'm so glad that your voice is part of it because you do put your voice out there. Keep up the good work. So, no, thank you for being you. Good to see you.